So, today I'm going to rank all of Dying Light's quarantine zones, which include the DLCs as well. Uh, the way I will rank them, I will start from lowest to... I will start from the, the suckiest one to the best one. And the way I'll be ranking it is through atmosphere, uh, gameplay, just like the whole general vibe of the thing, you know? So taking last place is the stuffed turtle. It is the most famous of the quarantine zones and arguably the easiest because of how the whole thing is laid out. It's a simple fetch mission, collecting five of those disaster relief on site packages. Shit, the goddamn switch broke down. And the first half of the quarantine zone has uh, no zombies at all. It's just a simple parkour around an electric floor. The second half, second half, however, does have a ton of zombies, and quite the variation. Although nothing serious like a volatile or a goon. The whole thing is easygoing experience with a with a hint of challenge. So, all in all, it's pretty easy. So therefore, it's last. The second one, the second last, is the parking lot. This one was kind of underwhelming. The, the objective of this one was to clear out the zombies. There are a, there are regular biters, a few violators, zombies that can sprint and climb, a few bombers, zombies who explode if you get too close, and two goons that make the bulk of the army of the zombies down below. Goons are absolute tanks and really hard to kill because of their HP, but they are pretty easy to dodge. The whole atmosphere of this place wasn't entirely unpleasant, just your typical underground area. Next up, we have the Striped Dragon Hotel. This one was also very underwhelming, with barely any challenge besides a swarm of biters crowding around you in the tight hallways. Not that it isn't challenging, it's just, it's just very simple. The only reason this surpasses the other two is because the level design is spot on with a bit of puzzling required. Although it is somewhat easy to find the five disaster relief packages scattered around. Next we got the Holy Year Tunnel. This one was a peculiar one. I believe it's a DLC. DLC one. This quarantine zone is in a train tunnel but the setup was more of an arena, S sealing, the goal was to seal two entrances so that more zombies couldn't get in, and then killing the remaining ones. The, there are, uh, the uh, quarantine zone is set up with various levels, using train carts, catwalks, and storage containers, allowing for por parkour oriented players to feel safe. The atmosphere is well done, with barely any lit light sources, and having a couple of bonfires as your bigger light sources really created the spooky ambience. The zombie level in this is pretty low, with only biters and virals. The storage containers needing to be dropped added a nice little twist to the simplistic challenge. There can be problems later on when trying to find a blast view because of how tight some of the spaces are. All in all, this was a pretty okay quarantine zone. Next, we have chemical storage. This quarantine zone is a pickup challenge, like most of them, but the twist on this one is especially parkour heavy. You have to leap from crates and storage containers to avoid the acidic substance all over the floor, and to make matters worse, the entire room is filled with toads, zombies who can spit, spit projectiles at you, at you, not to mention look really ugly. Before you get to the main room, however, you need to get past the first room, in which you are greeted by a giant electric fence and a bunch of regular biters. Just make quick work of them and open the door into the second room. Now, why why I placed high blah because blah jeez oh, I placed chemical storage higher than the Holy Year Tunnel and the other ones was because this one actually had a theme going on, and it. It just created a nice atmosphere, not a nice, nice one, but like a, 
a tense atmosphere, like a continuous one. Next one is Bright Mountain Tunnel. This one was pretty spooky. I mean, it's a dark tunnel, and how is that? How is that not spooky? The objective of this one is to find five of those uh, disaster relief packages in five different locations. The deeper you go into the tunnel, the more zombies there are, most of which are biters and a few virals. Well, actually, a lot of virals. Those guys are really nasty. And then you got bombers who explode at you. And when you get to the tunnel to get to the fifth uh, package is really annoying because how how many virals there are within the tight space. The smoke also adds a new danger and also acts as an environmental feature, adding more of a spooky ambience. This one was just creepy in general, using like stealth and pitch black. It just created this scary ambiance. Very nice. We have the Three Moons restaurant. A large restaurant whose, for some reason, doors do not lo no longer work. This place isn't entirely spooky nor atmospheric, but there are a couple of jump scares that can get you real bad. The story of this place tells, though, through level design and zombie placement, can get you in the fields if you look closely. This challenge is relatively easy, but the map is big enough with several parkour and combat balances with a bit of puzzling. With the, yeah, with the main objective to get the disaster relief packages. The biters that roam the halls and are on the floor are quite deadly if you're forced into the corner. Now we're at our top three. The one that takes my third spot is Sunny Apartments. This one immediately had a real spooky ambiance the moment you stepped into the apartment. Creepy, unique music, barely any light, and a fire right in front of you. It gives you chills and a sense of foreboding. A unique feature of this particular quarantine zone is that the fire has made a ton of smoke and the air filtration system is broken, which gives you a sense of haste. This, the feeling will continue once you realize that some of the places you need to get into require you to pick lock some of the doors. Only biters can be found here, but within tight halls like this, they can be quite deadly. It's also a tad difficult because of the objective of this quarantine zone is to eliminate all of the zombies. Now, on to uh, the second quarantine zone. Is underground parking. Not to be confused with parking lot. This, this one is a force to be reckoned with. I already said that, yep. <laughs> is nearly pitch black and the task of finding five disaster relief on site packages is in a twisting and turning place like a parking lot can give you a lot of confusing feelings. The hardest part of this whole challenge are the volatiles. The toughest of the tough and freaking fast. The moment they spy you, you are doomed if you don't have any flares on you. And even then it's terrifying. If you aren't confident in your fighting abilities, stealth is the way to go. And how and that's how slow you go. The tension can be overwhelming. Taking my number one spot is the new Atel Antalya Apartments, located in Sector Zero. This quarantine zone takes my top spot. The moment you step in, you are greeted with a surprisingly bright interior, but the unique music, a piano accompan accompaniment. To whatever madness the world fell into gives an interesting feel to this challenge. To make matters even worse, more creepier, is the child crying. Unlike the other ones, you only have to find four of those four of those disaster relief packages. But the apartments are massive, and you have to search room for room, all the while haunted by a child crying and soft piano. Biters are sparse, but still roam the halls, giving you a bit of combat. The whole place gives off a well-lived-in vibes, making it all the sadder that this was one of the first places to fall to the infection. Well, those were my rankings. I hope you enjoyed this. Joe out.